it is not uncommon for the novice laryngoscopist to place the laryngoscope too deeply into the airway so that critical anatomy is bypassed. In this case, the laryngoscopist who may believe they are looking at the larynx is actually looking at the esophagus. This may be especially true with video laryngoscopy, where there is a tendency for novices to overestimate the depth of the airway. Richard Levitan, in his teaching and writing, emphasizes the technique of epiglottoscopy, where the operator carefully identifies the superior and anterior anatomy down to the level of the epiglottis. At this point, it can be assured that the larynx will be found in a more posterior and caudad position.